Today we're going to talk through a day in the life of a Salesforce consultant. I'm going to go through a normal day this week that I had and talk about the various meetings and various projects that I worked on so that you can get a good understanding of what it's like to be a Salesforce consultant. So let's jump into it. Starting off at around 7.30, I'll be at my desk and I'll be looking through different emails and different Slack messages getting ready for what's gonna be on the docket that day and review my calendar for those meetings and really take that time to prepare. Uh, a big piece that I'll look here is looking at any scheduled flows that happened overnight in the various orgs that I help consult on, see if there's any errors I need to be out looking out for or any responses from potential support tickets that I have with, with different third-party integrations. Kind of get myself ready for the day, uh, anything urgent, try and prioritize what I have for that day. So that's usually about the first half hour, and then eight o'clock is usually when I want to start some deep work. So on this Monday, uh, it's important to note that I had some deployments across a few different Salesforce organizations the week prior. And so I wanna have some deep work to verify that that data is coming through as intended the next week. I'll go ahead and look at net new created records across several objects that these flows were working on. I'll go ahead and debug a few flows if I see some inconsistencies in using these records that should have updated or should have triggered a certain flow. So I will go ahead and go through that process, some data verification um, with debugging as well as, in this particular case, working with a third-party vendor, looking at any potential duplicates in the system, as well as merge practices. And so, really, I wanna have a deep session of work that I'm looking at data cleanliness. So on this Monday, I took from 8 to 10 a.m. in looking through the data and verifying, making sure that everything was routing appropriately. Um, it's very easy to go ahead and, and look for those error messages, right? You can look in your email if you're a part of the, the Apex uh, email assignees. You can look and see those, but maybe there's no error messages in your email or based off of a flow errors, but there could still be data that's not quite going according to plan. So I took some time here, went ahead and verified, again, data coming into Salesforce, how it's manipulated in Salesforce based off of deployments last week. And so this is hand in hand with what I had on my calendar. I had a time block here to go ahead and have a data review. And this is very common in a Salesforce consulting world. Um, in this case, this was through two different organizations that I was looking at Salesforce deployment deployments and looking at a third party uh, integration on another client, making sure that data was, was accurate there. So as a consultant, you're looking between not only different clients, but between different systems. Uh, you may, in some orgs or some companies be specific to Salesforce. In my particular case, I sit across uh, the entire tech stack of these different companies and making sure that everything is plugged in properly. We have field mappings, object creations, and all the data is looking good. So that's what I did for the first bit of my morning. After that, at 10 a.m., had a team meeting. Uh, we have a, tea, a weekly stand-up where we get together, we discuss uh, what projects we are working on, uh, we may bring up a few problems and ask for some a little brainstorm session there within the team uh, and go ahead and get best practices if we're struggling in a certain area. We talk about bandwidth, um, whether we have, uh, we're stretched thin that week and maybe we need to pull in some assistance or if we feel like our projects will be done midweek, then we can be able to jump on other projects. So we talk bandwidth on our team, making sure that we are helping where needed across our clients, making sure that we're really just delivering the best possible service. So we talk bandwidth, we talk projects, and again, we often, we have very open communication. We're often asking for help across the team, whether it's someone who excels in development, in coding, understand coding, different Apex deployments, whether it's someone who is, is really good at integrations or just you know making sure that uh, we have our testing set up properly. So that's what we do in our team meeting, have that get together and get ready for the week there to know what's going on. By the time this comes around around 10.30, uh, I had a few messages from some clients and so needed to go through a few user trainings and actually look at some validation rules. Uh, we had one client that uh, was hitting a certain validation rule uh, and so we wanted to make sure that we understood that that we debugged that certain scenario and then make sure that we communicate with the client how and why this certain validation is triggering. So again, a lot of user training, uh, you know, client facing in this instance. 
and have good communication as to why and how this validation was set up. And so took a little bit of time to talk through that with uh, an executive member of this company and making sure that they understood that so that we either need to address that across the entire team to make sure it doesn't happen again or see if we maybe need to even adjust the certain validation in place. So in this moment, I was talking about validation rules, client facing, really just doing it through direct messaging in Slack. After that impromptu user training session on validations, I had a client meeting. And so I jumped on a Zoom call with a member of my team and a few members of the client's team and talked about ongoing projects. And so this is very client facing. Uh, we often come together, we do a project sync we work on weekly sprints. And so we have these syncs with clients each week. And so we gave a project update as well as did a little bit of uh, live requirement gathering as we talked about the next step in the project. So this is where we meet with clients on Zoom and do a lot of that requirement gathering. Some of that process, understanding uh, you know, what their business requirement is and making sure that internally as we meet after the call, we understand what they're asking for and we're able to give the best possible solution there. And so lots of, of problem solving there as we gather those requirements, asking those follow-up questions to make sure that we are thinking about edge cases, thinking about you know when a new user comes on, can they understand this process, et cetera. So client facing, uh, real nice meeting that we had here to sync up on this project and move that project forward. Another part of the day often as a consultant is you are meeting with clients. It is dependent on your team. Um, I sit on a lot of client calls as well as I do a lot of the back end work. Um, is dependent on the company that you're looking to work for or if you're freelancing, you're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. But that was part of my day, uh, this particular day. After that client call, that took me to around lunchtime, around noon, I went ahead and got lunch ready. Uh, and this is where I try to get some engagement and try to go through LinkedIn. Uh, it is important that you're really staying close to some of those uh, thought leaders in the space. Um, you know, there's a lot of Salesforce constantly updating and want to get you know best practices with these releases. LinkedIn, there's a, there's a few people that are just phenomenal to follow and get their best practices. And so I usually eat lunch at my desk and just skim through LinkedIn, give a few comments, a few likes, and really just try to make sure that I'm, I'm gaining some best practices each and every day. All about continuously learning, and especially on the consultant side, you wanna make sure that you are staying on top of best practices, whether it's Salesforce specific or across any tool that you're using and consulting on. Uh, across your clients. After lunch, had a bit of an audit or a cataloging process. Uh, on one of our clients, we have a, kind of an internal ops team that has been brought on. And so we are trying to make sure that we put our best foot forward in cataloging, make sure that they have all of the documentation. So it was reviewing a lot of our past documentation as well as adding to our documentation for this client some more recent deployments, some different packages so that they can assess uh, and understand what is going on and kind of get them up to speed on their side. A documentation is gonna be a big part of a consulting job because you wanna make sure that you're doing a good job in providing the best um, work, the best ideas, but you wanna make sure documentation's there. Uh, consultants, you know, you're not a part of their internal team. You know, really in, in a best case scenario, you're, you're a temporary help. Right, you're there to help them get to the next level as a consultant. So you wanna make sure that you have good documentation, that you are documenting your processes, all of your work, and you have a way to go ahead and package that off. So it took some time here after lunch, review current documentation, and make sure that it was uh, very easy for them to digest and understand, and went ahead and met internally uh, with my team as we went ahead and sent that off, so for them to review, and then we can go ahead and meet with them later in the week and see if there's anything they have questions on or anything that, that they would like to adjust. That takes us to about the afternoon. Uh, the afternoon in, in this particular day, I was working a lot with third-party integrations. Uh, I was working with um, how different systems were talking to one another. Uh, in this case, it was HubSpot talking to Salesforce, talking to a customer success platform. And so we're needing to review some of the field mappings that I talked about earlier in the day uh, as I did that data work early in the morning. Here is where I was talking with support members of 
uh, this customer success platform, understanding some of the integration and getting the best practices there to sync across the CRMs and the marketing automation in HubSpot. And so I did some deep third-party integration work. Uh, as a consultant, as I mentioned, you may be Salesforce specific or you may be sitting across all different tools that a company is working on. And so in this case, I need to be very familiar with the different tools that they're using. Whether or not I have prior experience, I need to make sure I understand how it works, how it's affecting data that I consider myself accountable for in their CRM. And so important that you'll be talking across different teams on these tools. And so I jumped on a quick Zoom call with this third party uh, of this, this customer success tool to understand a little bit of their sync and best practices and have a few questions around some of the data uh, that I was seeing. And so very common you're working with other teams, right? As a consultant, you're working for your client, but you're also kind of the face of their company for other tools that they're using and trying to make sure that everything is working as intended. So took some time this afternoon to make sure that I was up to speed on best practices for these tools and had a few questions regarding some of their sync. Um, right now we're in a project making sure that we have good data flow from marketing to CRM all the way to downstream to the customer success. And so spent some time there talking about that tool. And to finish out the day, uh, really was looking through, responding to some Slack messages from a few clients here and having some internal syncs. You know, wanted to talk about progress for that day and where we were across a few different clients. And so I'm either slacking someone or I'm using an internal project management tool. Uh, in our case, we use Asana. And so provided some, some additional updates to the Asana tasks and different boards within Asana to make sure that our team is, is synced up. Make sure that at the end of the day, we know where we are on this project so we can communicate and be on the same page. So spent the last hour of the day answering those Slack messages, had a few follow-ups from earlier in the day and even last week regarding these deployments, answered a few questions, clarified a few things, and made sure that I updated where I, were on these, where I was on these projects in our internal Asana board. So that's a pretty general day in the life uh, as a Salesforce consultant. You know, I had internal meetings, I had some data work, I had third party work, I had client facing meetings. So I was myself plugging and playing, uh, working through a few different Salesforce orgs and other tools for these orgs, uh, as well as had some client facing meetings and some internal syncs. So consulting roles can vary whether you are a more strategic partner or you're more of an admin or a ticketing partner. Uh, it really depends on how you position yourself as a consultant or your company positions you as a consultant for your clients. But wanted to give you some insight into what I do a day in the life of a Salesforce consultant. I've been with this company for a few years and been with these clients uh, around the same time. And so let me know if that was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, uh, anything else that you really want to understand better and be prepared as you step into the life of a Salesforce consultant. Thanks.